this is going to be fun. New bore of 66 and a half millimeters, stroke of 50 millimeters, which I'm pretty sure this crankshaft's probably just gonna get destroyed. Um, but we're gonna find out. It's gonna be in a single overhead cam, four stroke, a homemade custom aluminum head using my forge, uh, custom aluminum valves, same thing using my forge. And this thing is going to, it's gonna be pretty powerful. Um, if you look carefully, these are like angled outwards. Um, that is because I did not want to spend nine hours per top and per bottom to reprint the crankcase. So I tried drilling it out. It did not work because the holes overlap, but it's all right. It, they're, they're out. They haven't broke yet, yet. Uh, but I did put uh, washers on the bottom so I can really torque it down. Um, and this new bore is going to make it <clears throat> about 173 cc's. So it's going to be pretty fun to build. I'm um, going to just get everything going still in the design process for like the head and everything but everything's looking good so far but yeah this is going to be the new uh, 170 cc uh, over uh single overhead cam four stroke engine okay so here is the piston and connecting rod i have the piston right here um it is so far 3d printed i'll probably run it 3d printed i'm gonna get a five millimeter o-ring for here uh, i don't know if the connecting rod will be strong enough but i'll give it a try 66 and a half millimeter bore uh this it is a bit big which is for the better because what i can do is i can just sand down the outside of the piston and it'll fit perfectly um but yeah i'm gonna keep the same crankshaft i think it'll work as long as i'm not applying pressure to it but i think that turned out pretty good it looks nice and the bore it's gonna be about 173 cc's currently as it is so uh this to literally tomorrow i'm gonna start casting i'm gonna cast the head the valves and I think I'm going to leave this like that for now and see if it works. I am going to cast a wrist pin, but I think that's all the parts I'm going to cast so far. But yeah, I guess I'll see tomorrow if I can if I can get everything casted. Oh, this is actually going pretty well. Sorry for the bad audio. I have to wear a respirator because this stuff, uh, the stuff coming off of there isn't, you don't want to breathe it in. Uh, but I have the head here. I'm about to do the valve and the wrist pin. But the head actually turned out really, really nice. So I have it going, I'm going to throw that in there, that aluminum down there, it's hard to breathe in this thing, and then I'm going to cast the valve and the wrist pin, but I got to get all that burn stuff out of there. Uh, I don't, I'll have to link, I'll link, it, I'll link this sand down in the description because that actually worked really good. I had some other sand that actually burst into flames. This one didn't even, it just smoked, that's all. Which maybe it's just the other one I had is bad quality, but anyways, the head turned out amazing. It looks great, uh, about to do the valves and the wrist pin. Uh, but everything's looking good so far. I'll update, I'll update you guys when I'm done. Okay, here we are. Right there's the head. These are the valves. And right there's going to be the wrist pin, which I've got to machine it all down. But it's all looking pretty good. So, yeah. I guess I will guess I'll, uh, wait for it to completely cool down and I'll start machining it all. Okay, so I have this valve done. Turned out really nice, I think. I mean, there's a little bit of pitting still there from the casting but this will 100% be usable. And uh, I actually, I don't know about that there, but I, I'm, I'm very certain this will be fine. I think the, so the contact point will be farther out than that, so I think that'll be fine. And then I was doing the other valve and I had too much of it sticking out and it snapped off. I should have known better, but I was, I didn't want to undo it and move it. And then this happens. So yeah, I have to recast that. I didn't get to the wrist pin yet. I literally just, I uh, literally just got that one valve done and then almost done with that and then it snapped. But the head looks like a loaf of bread, but I think it turned out pretty nice. So tomorrow it'll be, I'll have to recast another valve and then I'll do that. I'll machine down the wrist pin and then I will start machining the head. So tomorrow will be a fun day. Get, I'll probably get pretty far tomorrow, but yeah, I guess we'll see. Okay, so I forgot to record like the past week and a half uh but i've gotten pretty far the head is on there and is all machined out the valves are in there all machined out um i have i haven't put the piston or connecting rod in yet but i've got the chain on there and the valves are running really nice It, I think everything's turning out amazing. Ignition is set. My phone is not wanting to focus close in. 
But the ignition is set. I mean, obviously I have to retune everything when I put the piston and connecting rod in, but I'm gonna reprint those today. But everything looks amazing and the engine, everything seems to be working great. Um, I guess I, the actual test will be seen if it runs, but yeah, uh, this is just an update because it's been like a week and a half. Uh, but now that we're out of school, I'll be able to do more on it. Um, I'm actually getting really close to done. So yeah, I'll hopefully up you guys, update you guys more when, as I, as I fix things like putting in the piston and connecting rod. Then it's pretty much time to test. Okay, so we are officially to the testing stage. Um, I have the spark plug seat in there. I have some red RTV silicone around the threads because I, when I tap the hole, since I'm going through so much material, it started at a slight angle, but it was just enough I didn't realize it. And by the time I got to the bottom, it it really uh, there like there's one side where there's not where there's no threads, and the other side has all the threads. Uh, but I just fixed it with some red RTV silicone to seal up any of the gaps, and I think it's working. Um, the top threads are fine, so that's where it's seated into. But I think everything else is working. I do have slight leak through the through the intake valve still, but it, I think it'll be enough that when I when I start it, I mean you can hear it. But if you spin it over faster, well that's if I spin it over faster, you can't. It it, it there's a lot of force. If you spin it over slow, it leaks out. But I think at engine idling speed, it should be fine. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna take it out. And I'm gonna hook up the new one of these because the this one cracked so i'm gonna hook up the i'm gonna hook up the new one and then i'm gonna take it out to the shop and start testing it so yeah i'll see you in a bit okay so the engine is truly ready to test now um i figured out why i was getting a slight leak through my intake and exhaust ports or valves it was because the camshaft was touching the valve stem before it was supposed to so now it's i got you can just see a little bit of light through both. And that's exactly where I want it. Before, it was actually touching it before, and that's why I was getting leaks. But now, now it's pretty much perfect. But yeah, so I'm, I'm literally gonna go out and test. I gotta set up all the ignition stuff because it's been a little while, but it is basically completely ready to test now. And I have high hopes for it running with the new compression after I fix the after I fix the valves touching it. Okay, so I was just doing some quick test pull starts to, just to see what'll happen with it. And it shredded the flywheel. Um, I did not expect that to happen, but it fired and I saw blue flame sit out. I should have set up my phone, but I was just doing some test pulls to see if it would even fire. And lo and behold, it fired enough. And then when I pulled it over once, it snapped this. Um, I'm looking at that gear over there for a uh, new flywheel, but I have to find a way to mount it onto there. But it fired and it actually was looking pretty good. I, I put a condenser on there that I bought for $10. The spark is five times better at least. It, so that, that changed it a lot compared to just that little capacitor on there, that red one. But yeah, uh, everything's looking good so far. So basically I just need to fix the flywheel and we are good to go. Alrighty, so it's time to do some testing. What even happened there? Let's disconnect that. <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to do that. <laughs> Alrighty. That was interesting. I think my mission timing got off. I think. Thing. Ooh, there's still smoke. I wonder if we can see it fire. Well, I'll have to go back through. Well, I guess that'll happen. Uh, I just shredded the connecting rod, which I wasn't expecting it to do it that quick, but of course, I start testing the engine with the camera on, and it blows up. Where when I was testing it without the, without the camera, everything was going fine, and it was just firing, and it was super cool. But, yeah, this will take a little bit. I, I, I need to get a video out. So I think I might just post this as it is and then do a quick follow-up video because I'm gonna cast an aluminum connecting rod. Since I already have an aluminum wrist pin in there, I might as well cast an aluminum connecting rod now 
and I guess, I guess I'll see. I'll see. I might just reprint a new one because that'll take an hour and then put it back in service. But I, also the crankcase is not faring very well. But I'll see. I'll see what I'm going to end up doing. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to reprint the connecting rod with 100% infill as it was only 20% before. Um, and then I'm going to put it back together with this crankcase in the condition that it is because I don't want to reprint the crankcase, have the same thing happen and be out 400 grams of filament. But what gives me hope is that the piston is in perfect condition after that and everything else like the head looks just fine the new flywheels working the bolts held it all together just the connecting rod snapped and that's because it was printed with like 20 percent infill uh but i what i'm going to do is i'm reprinting the crank uh, i'm reprinting the connecting rod right now with 100 percent infill i'm gonna throw everything back together with the crankcase as it is and I'm going to try to get it to run again, and if it explodes, that'll be it'll that'll be in part two of this basically this new four-stroke engine. I will, and then I'm going to cast a homemade aluminum one, but the piston held up just fine, so I have high hopes for that. But yeah, I guess I'm gonna I'm reprinting it right now, and we'll see we'll see how long that takes. Okay, so we're ready for some more testing. I'm gonna put on some safety glasses this time. Alrighty. We at top dead center? Yes, yes we are. Should hook up, should double check. Really good spark. Okay. Alrighty. Let's hope something cool happens and not like last time. That was promising. That was really promising. There it fired. I'll try a little more starter fluid. Oh, look at those flames. Got that on camera. Ooh, that'll be cool. There we go. It's firing pretty good. That gives me hope. There's intake opened. Oh. That'll do it. I have no compression at all. Like none. Oh. <laughs> it shocked me. Well, it was correct. There is a hole in the piston. But everything in the head looks fine. It's just the piston has a slight leak. But, yeah, I think... I think I actually might end the video here. In the next video, I'll cast an aluminum piston and an aluminum connecting rod because I need to get a video out. It's been a while. So yeah, I actually think I'm going to end the video here with this teardown, and then I'm going to cast an aluminum piston and the aluminum connecting rod in the next video, or maybe just an aluminum piston depending on what I need. And then this engine should hopefully run for a good amount of time because I think it was lo low compression in the first place. So I'm going to buy some cast iron piston rings and then I'll be able to cast an aluminum piston and have it work really good. So yeah, I think, I think I'm going to post this video now. So make sure to subscribe for the next video and I will see you guys later. Uh, thank you all for watching if you watched this far uh, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.